What's up, on guys? Tie Fighter here. Welcome back to their episode of House of Ashes here on the channel. We're officially 3,000 feet down. We're going to see what horrors are going to come. Because obviously, we're going to see some cocoons or something down here. Because we're, we, we're, this is this is 100% where these demon vampires are coming from. So I am really nervous. We got Salim here with us. And Nick and Rachel are above ground looking for us as well. So I'm really nervous to go forward. And Eric's officially dead. I'm so sorry, Eric. I feel so bad. I should never have let Clarice live. I should have I should have left her down there. If I didn't let if I didn't bring Clarice, Eric would never would have died. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, this is gonna be so terrible. Are these like are they gonna be like aliens or something? Because I'm seeing like this weird like goopy stuff. Belongs to Randolph Hodgson. Okay. Randolph. Some intel that could help. Randolph is the I dude with the videos. Ah, shit. It's empty? Okay, well <laughs> I just find a journal and it's completely empty. Well then. Oh, we had a dead guy. Oh no. Are you Randolph? I don't like this one bit. Oh, there's a compass. Or a little... Actually... Wait, this is... Oh, it's a... Never mind, it's a, a little pocket watch. A watch case of a portrait of a woman on the inside. Is that gonna be... Randolph's wife? He's wife. Still yeah. Didn't end so well. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. Oh jeez, I hate this. I don't I don't want I don't want to see what happens next like here. This is where we get the video again. When this temple falls, my wife and I will be blank. I owe her that. At least. The portrait that I carry in my watch case is the Mary that I remember, not that blank. So basically, again, she turned into the vampire and she's going crazy. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. Yeah, I'm thinking Lady Bradshaw was a great lady. <laughs> Hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. Oh, jeez. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find. An iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. Uh-huh. That kills the vampires. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below. As if answering the sudden release of blood. Again, I don't like the sound of that. Maybe let's not get stabbed. Maybe, because I think that that's not going to go well. Because it sounds like they, they like blood. That's not, that's not a good sign. Okay. I'm really glad that we have Selene with us. If we didn't have Selene, then I don't know what we, what we would do. We'd just be doing this on our own. I'm really not liking this. Oh. Oh my gosh. If they basically are aliens. Yeah, what you said. Yeah, they basically are. Look at look at this. What the fuck is this place? Did humans build that? There's no way humans built that. It looks like a ship kind of. I'm wondering if there are aliens, because that would actually make a lot of sense, too. Because that they're not really demons, then. They're just, like, aliens that ended up down there and start infecting people. Or maybe they're just still demons, but I don't know. It just seems like it's not human-like to have built this. Is this even real? Like, as I was saying before... 
I had a couple episodes I named it in the depths of hell. We literally are in the depths of hell now. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Shame of parents. Tough fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Um, should we talk about the checkpoint? Yeah, I think we should kind of get it out of him because Nick didn't really want to talk about it. Green zone. Checkpoint. Jason spoke candidly with Sleem about the checkpoint shooting. Okay. What checkpoint? Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered... I ordered for her to stop. Loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. Oh, good job, I didn't speak English. I had to make a call. Nick. He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Jeez. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. Oh, that's why. I was like, she either didn't speak English or she didn't hear him. Huh. This. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. Truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? Those towers were hit. Now it's stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving. Your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her. And we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. Would you have mine? We go inside there and we find a way to hurt them. <laughs> oh, that's not the best idea. Those fucking things try to fuck with our heads. They try to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! <laughs> what on earth is that sound? A marine thing. Oh. Does, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey. Jason reassured Celine that he had his back. Oh, that's nice. Whatever happens out there, I've got your back. You're an honorary marine, Celine. <laughs> 
Okay, so now instead of them attacking us, we're gonna go take initiative attack them. This is not gonna go well. I feel like that we're gonna get like caught trying to do it and then we're just gonna get screwed over, I think. Oh, we're going down. Oh no. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> we're 3,544 feet down. We're so deep underground. How are we even supposed to get out of this besides taking the elevator? Is that the only way out? Yeah, th th this is 100% alien stuff. There's no way that any humans back in the ancient times built this. The pyramids are one thing. That that was uh, built by humans. This is not... Whoa! This was not built by humans. Oh, is it like hallucinogenic stuff? Please tell me it isn't. Are we gonna start hallucinating? Oh! Oh gosh! Okay, that is that's a cocoon. Hopefully. Okay, I'm hoping that's an empty cocoon because if it isn't, then we're gonna get attacked. So the cocoons are just like is that what it is that what it looks like? Just like like a stone version of that. Maybe. I guess this green stuff is like the goop stuff that they have. This does look really cool though. It just looks really creepy. I'm feeling like I'm in an alien movie right now. Stay close. Oh my gosh. I hate this so much. No. This gotta be where those things come from. Oh heck no. Question is where the hell are they? Oh I hate this. Okay. Looking around for anything I can find. The smoths is everywhere. Is it just me or Alive. Yeah, we're going. Are we choosing a way to go? Because I'll go that way, but there's like something else over here. I I hope that we're not choosing, because I feel like I'm gonna mess this up if we have to choose which way to go. Maybe we're just inspecting. Okay, we're just inspecting. Good. Because if I had to drop down there, if I had to if I had to choose where to drop down, I would 100% pick the wrong one and die immediately. Sleep over here. Make of it. This place could have been down here for thousands of years. God didn't make these creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we were intuiting on them. Oh, I hate that. Don't please don't move. Stay close. We just inspected, right? Oh no. Look at this. Wait. What is this? Is it alien part? A strange handheld device that emits a sonic cord when touched. It seems the creatures use advanced technology to craft sonic devices of unknown purpose. Exactly, they're aliens. I don't sound like any music from where I'm from. <laughs> okay, maybe not music. It could be uh, a language. That's some type of signal or language. They're not exactly the chatty type. Well, they keep making that screaming sound, so. At this place, those things are intelligent. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, so basically, they're just they're just basically alien vampires, if you really think about it. Like in simple terms, they're basically just alien vampires. Ooh, it's okay. Oh, it's like little. Yeah, it's like little seats. Cause they were on a ship, it looks like. Yeah, that's one of those things, but it's like dead. Check this out. I really never thought this was gonna happen. I thought they were, I thought they were just demons. They're really just aliens. Oh, jeez. Touch it. Do you really think that's a good idea? Pussy. <laughs> Is that really a good idea? I hope. 
Please tell me it's dead. I swear to I swear if it is alive. Oh! Okay. Okay, it's dead all right. Oh my gosh. That thing just like turned to dust. Did you see that? Of course I fucking saw it. That creature is fossilized. It must be millions of years old. This is way older than we than we were thinking. I'm pretty sure, guys. I never really th I never could have thought of this. Like seriously, I thought it was just demons that the Acadians summoned. It's they're aliens from like m like millions, even hundreds of millions of years old. That is crazy. This is actually feels like a movie right now. I'm not, I'm loving this. You got him down here for at least like a, a day or two, probably, probably a day and a half. Oh, it's weird. He's like half fossilized. It's like that's a human, I think. Goddamn biblical. Oh, it's Karoom! Oh! That's literally Karoom! Because we had Velothu, and that's Karoom. Oh, that's impossible. In this place, everything's possible. Holy shit. Fucker's been alive all this time. Just sitting here with half a head. He actually is alive. What the it's heck? Preserved his flesh, his brain. Jeez. We, we can't leave him like this. Just well, kill he, him? He had enough time to get used to it. <laughs> I'm serious. Can we just kill him? The noise will attract the vampires. Well, can you just like stab him in the face I'll or something? It. Yeah, there you go. Oh, sorry, Karoom. I, I know you've probably been suffering for a while, so hopefully this is good. Oh, jeez. So, would it have been the other way around if Bolathu was the last to die? Because it said that he was, Bolathu was the last to, I mean, if Karoom was the last to die. Because Bolathu was the last to die in my playthrough. If Karoom was the last to die, does that mean that Bolathu would have been that dude we just killed? Because that would be really interesting. I think that's how it would have how it would have worked. According to how this game plays out, that's so crazy that actually that Karoom was still alive after missing like half of his body. That is just so crazy to think about. I am loving this atmosphere right now, though. This really feels like an alien movie. I love this. Yeah, we're going up. Gotta help our boy Salim up. He's a little bit older than us. I'm not liking all this goop, though. Please, no more goop. No more goop, please. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, keep on going. There's a lot of, like... Like seats for like the pods and everything. <clears throat> this area is insane. Yeah, these are all like these are all like seats for the the aliens. That's one right there. So were they driving the ship and then oh wait oh those are the cocoons oh no so they were just like driving the ship and then ended up here somehow like millions of years ago oh it's a little skull cool okay please don't have anything in there i swear if you have like a rat in there or something again the ruptures in this fossilized skull suggest excuse me suggested the city dwellers may have been infected with an invasive parasite yeah of course we just saw Looks like Clarice died. Turn into the thing. Thanks. Can you see? The bullet is ruptured where they should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe 
these things weren't originally vampires. Maybe they got infected. Oh. That's another thing to think about, too. I didn't even realize that. So even though they might not, even though they're aliens, they might have not become vampires until they got here. Like, they had some infection. So maybe that whole curse, maybe, maybe it was aliens that got cursed when they ended up down here and then turned into, like, the vampires that we kind of know. So maybe they weren't, they were just friendly aliens and then turned bad. I'm trying to work my head around this. I don't I don't feel comfortable with this. Oh, I could it's cool like lightning too. I don't feel comfortable going through this area. Oh my god. Holy crap. Yeah. And I am thinking what you're thinking. Those were all Aliens we just saw, they were all sitting on that temple thing. Oh, watch out for that thing. I, those what? things exploded last time. And I'm thinking that if we aren't quiet here, then these things are going to hear us and wake up. Let's try to stand away from the little... The little pod... The seed pods that break. Whatever you call it, the goop. I don't like this one bit. What is that sound? Is that us walking? Cause it's like cracking. I hate that. Maybe it's just us, but it sounds really loud. Oh, okay. Be careful. Don't hit those. I don't think that does. Hopefully that doesn't do anything, but I'm not comfortable with walking on those. I feel like that's going to do something. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go a different way. Can I go back? There we go. Go around. Go around. I don't trust walking on those. I don't trust. I don't trust this one bit. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible here. Oh my god. That was so bad. There's still so much more of them. All these are going to break open eventually, aren't they? Like, as soon as we make a loud sound or any or anything like that, they get alerted. They're going to open up and start attacking. Okay, we're going that way. Just to check. What's going on back here? Anything? Here we go. Got some bones. Bones of those aliens. Can you move, Salim? I'm kind of getting in the way, bro. Salim? 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 Okay. You know, you know what? I'll go the other way. You want to go stand right there? I'll go the other way. That's another problem. I don't like how you walk so slow. She can move faster. But then, obviously, it's probably not the... Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. That thing just woke up. Oh, no. Okay, go go fly away, please. Please fly away. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Salim. Okay, there you go, buddy. Got gotcha. you. I need you to stab it right in the heart, please. Oh my god, you're so gross. I got some for you. Yes, Nick. Let's go. Okay, Rachel, please fight fight with Nick when you can, because you are in fact then you're gonna turn eventually, so keep fighting. Uh. Yep, crawl under. There you go. I'll cover you! Go! Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, you next, Jason. Or Rachel, either one. Somebody go. Oh, what the heck? 
Oh, it's like a throne. What is that? Shit, Nicky. You turned out <laughs> like fucking cavalry. Our oh, boy Nick's dead. back. Not my time. There's Rachel. I was like, where is she? Yeah, it shouldn't seem like she's doing that bad yet. Take my hand. Colonel didn't make it. Oh. I still feel terrible if I didn't. If I feel like if I didn't save Clarice, then Eric never would have died, or at least it wouldn't have been that way. Or is Eric supposed to die? I feel like he can live, but I just. Didn't play things out wrong. I didn't play things out right. I need to go. Whenever I do another playthrough, I need to do things right here. What is this place? There's water. But I don't recommend drinking that. I Is that like a throne? Like, what is that we thing right there in the middle? Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. <laughs> Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. Yeah, we can One actually block. use the phosphor oh, rounds. I didn't want to use that before, but now we can actually use it because those things aren't human. So we'll just do that. All in is not enough. We've also got this. <laughs> Some dynamite. That's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Oorah. <laughs> Oorah. I want Slim to do it too. Pistol. We are way past that point now, man. We stand together as one. He's on our side now. You still got that med kit. Now would be a good time to use it. Okay, yeah, yeah, because uh, it showed that before that it's Nick had the med kit. I can only patch up one person. Oh, no. Press back home would have a field day with this. Nick used a medical kit to bind Sleem's wounds. Oh, Nick, that's nice. Our friends were here too. We should search this place before we move out. I didn't even have to make a choice who to save. Nick just decided to bind up Sleem. Which is honestly probably a good idea because Sleem's probably a better ally here. I'm just not just saying, Nick, you're 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 a good person, but I think Sleem's just a little bit more smart because he has the. The, um, the little, what's it called? The spear that he can stab them with. I'm gonna go talk with Salim in a second. I wanna look at this. Notes speculating on the life cycle of the creatures, which suggests they are corpses inhabited by vampiric parasites. So they are aliens that just got infected. Hunts victim, implants parasite, parasite gestates, hosts death, parasite takes over. So it, it seems like the aliens got infected. And that not a hundred, maybe not a hundred percent, or maybe they were. Like, it's hard to understand. Here, let me just take a look again. Let me go to my, how do I do the thing where I look at, yeah, I'll just go to collection of the characters anyway. Go to secrets. Where is the one that we have? I'm trying to find the one we just found, because that, I can read that again. Hi, oh, here we go. Here. They are corpses inhabited by vampiric parasites. Maybe they do... Okay, so according to this, it seems like they, they either might have not had it before or they had it and it just wasn't the same. I'm going to watch this little video again. They are coming. We must end it here with blank. If there is time, my last act will be to dictate this diary onto blank found in the rubble. It can serve as a warning to any who blank. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore. 
and rouse something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. Jeez. It's crazy, dude. Okay. Hello? There we go. I thought my game just crashed. Wasn't working. None of them made it out alive. Over here. I found something. Maybe I should talk to... Hopefully talking to Selene doesn't cancel talking to... G oh, wait. Yeah, don't talk to him yet. Because apparently he looks like he's the way to go. But anyway, I want to go over here first anyway. I just found this paper. FAO, Pullman, new equipment requests, t uh, 12 pickaxes, rope minimum of 1,000 feet, plywood box, 29, eternal, 1,200 liters, maybe, uh, 790 watts and 510, I don't know what H is, millimeters, Arc lamps 20 and generator, crowbars 4 and gas mask 6 and EVH. To whoever finds this, forgive me, for I've him? sabotaged the dynamite to Is prevent my colleagues tablets? from stealing this temple from the to the world. Lady Bradshaw was right to bring me here. These creatures are a key to limitless power. They are secrets here that could allow humanity to reach above the stars, perhaps even achieve immortality itself. Please safeguard this ruin and do not think badly of me for what I've done. I serve only the future. Ellis Van Houten. Houten. Whatever. That's the dude they were talking about. Rachel, you look not so good right now. You are fully covered in all the blood from the things. Talk to, to Jason first. Again. Daylight and a cold one. Rachel. Yeah? I'm sorry for your loss. Eric was a good man. He was. That was it. Okay. I, I I still feel so bad for Rachel, dude. She just lost Eric. Even though she was kind of done with Eric, I still feel bad for her because she I, I tried to help her and make everything feel better. We got a little music sheet here. As I discover more about the musical language of these creatures, my mind spins in wonder at how they came to be here. Did they soar through the skies in the days of the dinosaurs? Did their great empire span the globe while we were still swinging from the trees? They are dead now. Their forms are somewhat like our own, but everything else about them is alien to life as you know it. The console displays what appears to be a constellation of stars. See this? As seen from Earth, did they come here from beyond, crossing great gulfs of space to land here? Were they trying to get home? Yeah, it's basically they're aliens. Already kind of knew that anyway, but still trying to explain that that they are aliens. How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. I should have said it sooner, but um, I'm sorry about Eric's death. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I just want your hands. It's nothing. I'm just cold. Oh, Rachel, no, you are not. Don't. Are you kidding me? She's seriously not- oh, wait, this is an premonition. I forgot about these. Oh! That is got- Oh, wait! That's- that's the game coming out. I just- that's- I just- Wait, did the game already come out, I think? Or no, no, it didn't come out yet, I don't think. Devil and me, I think that probably might be from what it is. Because I saw the, what's it called? I saw the, the Fliss girl. She was from Man of Medan, but she's, I know she's in that game. She's the face model. And there's also that uh, British dude. I forgot what his name is, but he's in it. I think that's from the game that's coming out. And I really want to play that eventually. That looks, that actually looks really scary. Oh. It's singing. It's different, like, oh no. Yeah, it's probably not going to do well for her because it's 
affecting there's meaning here it's affecting her it's a language formed from chords musical scales sonics mary was a pianist she deciphered it she thought these carvings represented the stars do you see it's cetus the whale we're a long way from the night sky it's a mystery According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. She might not do well, though, because that thing was already inf in affecting her when he was doing it. So when she does it... I honestly don't even know what I just did. I just kept moving around and doing things. <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing, but apparently you just go like up, down, up, down. Do what he was doing. That's cool though. The fact that just doing that it makes sound. That's really cool. Isn't that something? And the fact that they use chords in order for their language. That these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? When the tragedy fell upon them, their great empire oh, collapsed. No. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. Oh, she's turning now. What happened? Sickness? A madness? What Does anybody else notice Rachel fingers? having that happen to her? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. Oh, don't let her have that white phosphorus. Why does she have that? They waited for us. Oh no. Oh, please don't use that. Oh, gosh. Rachel. Rachel, look at me. Okay, Nick, back up. She is going to make that thing explode. She has it. It's inside her. Oh, jeez. Oh, she's seeing things now. Oh. Oh, jeez. So they, so they came from their place, like however millions of years ago. Oh, I just got a trophy for that. As the infection took hold, Rachel had a vision of the creature's past. So basically, they crashed on Earth. Oh, don't. Please don't. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. Sorry. Oh, shit. No! Oh, I don't want to do it. 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 I don't want to kill her. Kill it. She's gonna turn though. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Okay, Nick might wanna back up though. Into one of them. I'll put her out of her misery. Hold her the fuck down. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Remember what happened to you? Oh. It won't be pleasant if Rachel turns to.
Oh, we, I think it, I'm sorry, Rachel. Help me. I'm drowning. Fuck, Rachel. I have to put you down. Oh. I really think that Rachel needs to die, though. Oh, Rachel, oh no. Chasing kill Rachel to stop her for transforming. Oh no. Oh, crap. Had to be done. Stand up, Sergeant K. Was that even the best idea? I feel like that we should have. I, I didn't. I wanted to let her alive, but I thought she was gonna like Things kill everybody. Done. You'll have heard the gunshot. We need to move the fuck out. Oh, jeez. There's only three of us now. This is so bad. This time, I'm, next time, I'm, at, I'm gonna save Rachel and see what happens. I'm gonna do another playthrough. Maybe not on the channel, but I'm gonna do another playthrough, and I'm definitely gonna. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess it ha we have to make sure that she's dead. We have to make sure, unfortunately. So we have to stab her. Because we can't have her coming back to life. Those things are crazy, though. Cocoon Vault. Jeez. Oh my gosh. You seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. Jeez. Set the charges there. They'll all burn. Okay, I guess we gotta get ready for this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. So's the Colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. Second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. Shalim, you ready? I am. Okay then. Let's get loose, kids. Jeez. Who's going to place the dynamite? I oh, do we have to choose? Alright, fuck it. I'll do it. Okay, next two in it. Crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Dick's a detonator. If I don't make it... Nick! Hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal? Then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up? You hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? Oh, Lord. Oh, is it gonna start? Oh, they're gonna start. I mean, some of them are already hatching to begin with, but they're all of them are gonna start hatching now. We should keep a watch on Nick. I can't make it out. Can I tell him? What are all these machines? Can I tell him that there's like... Oh, Nick. there you go. There's one ahead of him. There's left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. Oh, jeez. First dynamite is down. This is really bad. Which way? Left or right? Move! 
Oh, Boasu! No, 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 no. Nick is gonna be screwed. Oh, no. Oh, wait, can they, like, smell blood? Oh, they... Yeah. They have... They, they sense the blood. The blood from Nick's injury woke a creature. Oh, jeez. Oh, harpy time. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm not liking this. Okay, keep saying calm. Okay, there you go. Now it's off. Oh, jeez. That is really bad. need to advance unfortunately because it's the only way to get rid of them I'm going for it. it's the only way to get rid of them i know that nick might get i think i know that nick it's going to get intense but unfortunately we have to do this because we have to get rid of them once and for all because we only get rid of some of them yeah balathu's there though so can you like can you do you see him or something oh no yeah they're all hatching now what is it too many. He's a dead man. Sweet oh baby. my gosh. Wait. What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Well, he needs to know that there's like millions hey, of them flying out. Up there? Just tell him. Just tell him, please. Tell him. Thank you. They're all over you, man. Hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nikki. For this. For what happened at that checkpoint. It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Get out. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please stop, please stop. Oh gosh. Oh, we have to do heartbeats as we're doing this? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Why are there so many heartbeat things now? Why can't we just relax? I'm always so bad at these. I always mess them up usually. And I'm getting lucky that on this playthrough I haven't messed any up yet. I usually, in Little Hope, I messed it up so many times. And Man of Dan as well. Those games I messed up the heartbeats way too much. And they get faster and faster too. In this one, I can't even really see where the freaking things are. Because Nick's in the way doing whatever he's doing. There are way too many. Why are there so many heartbeat things? Please. It's too many. I'm going to mess one up. Please. I want to do this the right way. Don't make me mess up, game. There's too many of them. Oh my god, did I actually do it? Yes, I did it! Go, go, go! Go, go! Run! Nick, run as fast as you can, it doesn't matter. Oh... Did he throw like a grenade or something? Oh, I feel... Oh, jeez. 
Oh my gosh. Here we go. This is where all hell breaks loose. It's time. We're gonna end it right here, guys. I know that's a bad place to end. I know. We're gonna end it right here, though. I, I, I know, it's a bad place to end, but I don't want the video to just stop as we're doing this. But anyways, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. Blogs really help me out. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video for some more of House of Ash. I think we're getting to the end because we're officially about to blow up all of these disgusting demon, alien, vampire things. And we're going to get the heck out. Hopefully Nick survives this because I have gotten... Ra Ra Rachel and Eric are dead. Jason and Salim are the only people left besides Nick. So Nick, Jason, and Salim are the only people left. I don't want to get anyone else killed. So we'll try to get Nick to survive here. You might need help because Blothy's showing up. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.